If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community on YouTube, I'm T1 Glistener Elf, here with a revised Vintage Solidarity deck deck, one that's much more thorough uh, than the last time that I did this. Solidarity is an archetype that has existed in Legacy for some time, although it's certainly fallen off uh, pretty hard as the metagame shifted. It's essentially as a high tide deck that goes off at instant speed on your opponent's turn. So, first off, uh, four high tide. Let's get the important pieces out of the way. And four reset. Now reset is a fun little card. It can only be cast on the opponent's turn after their upkeep. So, nice little restriction. Not only can you go off at instant speed, but you actually must go off at instant speed. And by go off, I mean you're going to play high tide, cast a bunch of spells, untap your lands with reset, and scrub rinse repeat. You're running through your deck until you can find, eventually, eventually, it will all end in Cunning Wish, which goes and gets an instant from outside the game, which in a sanctioned event means your sideboard. And with that, you go and get either Blue Sun Zenith or Brain Freeze. Brain Freeze for the Storm Kill, Blue Sun Zenith for a ton of mana. Uh, and because this all goes off at instant speed, you can, say, Brain Freeze your opponent, and then if there's an Emrakul trigger on the stack, use what mana you have left to cause them to draw out. Something like that. Now these are, of course, in the sideboard, uh, along with a bunch of other cards. This is a, a wish board, to be sure. Uh, the rest of what we have going on that isn't the combo, I guess you'd say, we have you know, the cantrips that get us there. I guess Mystical Tutor isn't really a cantrip, but it's banned in Legacy for a reason. Even though it is technically card disadvantage, you put it on top of your deck, we have a number of ways to get it into our hand. Uh, it's quite a good card. I'm going to set you right here for now. Well, I guess, I guess to keep it even before I get to the rest of the cantrips, the OCD in me says I need to do this. Uh, let's go over the cards that fit uh, up at the top as well. So we have, let's see, uh, our counterspell package for Force of Will, because it's that kind of deck. You can put one in the sideboard that you can wish for, that's fine. I put Pact of Negation in the sideboard, personally, um, instead of uh, the fourth Force of Will. And then Flusterstorm, two, one in the side. We'll get to those, though. There's also a Mental Misstep, just a single one. Ancestor Recall and other uh, Mental Missteps are common enough that you sort of have to. And then three Snapcaster Mage. Of course, we have a lot that we want to flash back in this deck. We have an awful lot. Now, Cunning Wish does exile itself upon resolution. There was a time when the rules allowed for you to get back your own Cunning Wish because outside of the game included exile. No longer, uh, but you could use that, like, you're thinking, what's the point of doing that? Well, the point is, you know, increasing your storm count. Once you have 50 billion mana, your storm gets up to... 50 billion divided by 3, you know, you, you know what I'm saying, uh, from casting it over and over again. And then 2 snap. You can return Snapcaster Mage, obviously, that, there's a, a nice little name combo there. But you can also just return one of your opponent's creatures, and it, all that we care about is that we get to untap 2 lands. That's where we want to be in this. Uh, now, Mystical Tutor gets some neighbors. We have our one of Ancestral Recall, because Vintage, and we're blue. da ba dee da ba die. Good card is good. We have one Brainstorm, that's all we're allowed to have in this format. Same is true of Ponder, though, we're not running that. Now, speaking of which, here's the main issue with this, this deck, as far as I can tell. We run four Opt. Because we have to use instant speed cantrips, this means that we go way down the list before we hit another one. We can't run Ponder, we can't run Preordain, 
we can't run serum visions, we can't run sleight of hand. Uh, instead of ponder and preordain, as you would normally run in a uh, spiral tide list, we run four opt and four impulse, which is fine. It has its own uh, advantages, giving you that fourth card of reach. But nonetheless, it's just it's not as good. Let's face it. Uh, I'm actually going to have to scooch these over again because we have eight that will fit on this route. The next one is Dig Through Time. Only legal to one. If this were legal to four, good grief, this would be insane. Um, well, I say insane. That's too strong of a word. There was a time when I was running this deck, and having four Dig Through Times, even in Vintage, that card is, you know, restricted. And for good reason. It's just so consistent. It's too consistent. Um, dig Through Time being another card that's banned in Legacy. Uh, and while we're on that train, <laughs> for Frantic Search, this card feels bad at first, but there's a reason why it's banned in Legacy. It looks like it's just a 3 for 2, uh, or rather a 2 for 3. You are using up Frantic Search, drawing two cards, so we're at minus 3, and then we're, or excuse me, we're at plus 1, and then we're discarding them, so now we're at minus 1. But if you consider untapping three lands to be an extra card, then you're even. And we definitely care about untapping our lands. It's a, it's a powerful effect, in, in a deck like this especially. Uh, so that gives us four resets, two snaps, four frantic search, and three snapcaster mage. So effectively that's up to 13 untap effects. We get a lot of mana in this deck, but Usually, I'll admit, we win through Storm. We win through Brain Freeze, uh, rather than Blue Sun Zenith. Uh, part of that is convenience. Because Emrakul is not a staple in Vintage, it's just easier to kill with Brain Freeze. You don't have to worry about, you know, you don't have to worry about them shuffling it back in. Uh, but also, we make a lot of mana, but we don't do it as easily as Spiral Tide. Uh, where I've seen Feline. I think the most she's ever gone to that I've seen is like 200 something. And now we have four Meditate. So, not strictly worse than Ancestral Recall. We draw four cards at the cost of three mana and skipping our next turn. So, the fair way of playing this, I suppose, is at the end of your opponent's turn, cast it and they get an extra turn. If you're sure that you can survive one more turn, that's the fair way to play it and you get four cards. The unfair way to play it is just kill them before they ever get a turn, uh, which is to say use it as part of your combo. Now, all of this in the sideboard, or all of this in the main board, we're about to get the sideboard, uh, we have eight blue fetches. Whatever. <laughs> we have eight blue fetches. You can have these be whatever you want. I'm just gonna set them over here, and then we have Nine islands. You can have these be whatever you want. I decided to go with that one because I am a 13 year old boy. Not really. Uh, and now we go to the sideboard. Now we get there. So I mentioned Blues and Zenith. I mentioned Brain Freeze. Those are well and good. If we need to return a permanent to hand, uh, say if we're playing against hate pairs and they're keeping us from going off, we have a one of Echoing Truth. All of these are wish targets, by the way. Everything in the sideboard is something that you can get with Cunning Wish. Flusterstorm. Storm Hate. Hercules Recall. Uh, because Workshops. Mental Misstep. Because Ancestor Recall. And that may need to be something else. Uh, mind Break Trap, because Storm. Yeah, the perfect storm is called that for a reason, but still can't beat this. Pact of Negation. On the turn that you're comboing off, Cunning Wish for this. Ravenous Trap, because Dredge. Now, I'm actually considering having two in the sideboard so that I can, in game two, and three hopefully, uh, go into 
but I can side in Ravenous Trap and still have it in the sideboard. That way I have a chance of drawing into it and just having it if uh, Cunning Wish goes. Because frankly, they're fast enough that getting the three mana may not happen in this deck. You'll notice I'm not running any Moxin, I'm not running Black Lotus, and there's a good reason for that. It's because I can't, actually. I have to go at instant speed and all of those are dead. Plus, they can't be untapped with Reset or any of the others. Um, if there happened to be enough artifacts with Flash, I could try Academy Ruins, but sadly that doesn't get the job done. Rebuild, because workshops. And again, if you want to, you can put one in the main uh, and one in the side. Rebuild and Hercules Recall. Shadow of Doubt. Just a generic hate card. Keep them from demonic tutoring or whatnot. Or fetching. Uh, stops, stops a lot in this. Uh, snap. Just another one in the sideboard for uh, creature removal. Removal. Trick Bind. Just something with which I'm experimenting, actually. This may not be all that good. It does buy you a turn against Oath. And there may be some miscellaneous uses. Again, fetch lands, of course. Um, but it's just here in case. It also, well, I, I guess one thing that... It hasn't come up. I haven't used this for the purpose yet. But you can Trick Bind Storm. Uh, and then when they Tendrils you, they'll only drain you for two. Uh, I haven't done that because Mind Break Trap is so much better. But uh, I say it's so much better. Trick Bind can't be countered. Uh, except by, what, Counterbalance? <laughs> That's about it. Um, but I just haven't gotten into that state yet. And next, Turnabout. This is in the sideboard actually to help you combo. Just as another untap all of your lands effects. And one wipe away as snap, but more versatile and uncounterable. Just if there's something that's hating on me, keeping me down, I can go in there. So, what would I side out, what would I take out if I'm putting in another Ravenous Trap, as I th or another two, maybe? I, Ravenous Trap, Dredge is that bad of a match. I might actually need the full four and just side in three and keep one in the sideboard. I might actually want to do that. Uh, Mental Misstep would go out. Um, wipe away because we still have Echoing Truth, I suppose. And uh, maybe I can take out... I, I want to keep Hercules and Rebuild because Workshops is also a bad match for this deck, potentially. Workshops just keeps us locked out. Um, makes everything too expensive. Um, maybe Snap? I'm not sure, actually. I'm honestly not sure. Maybe Snap, because I, also, I already have enough ways to... Uh, get rid to bounce a permanent um, echoing truth maybe why so right now the bounce cards that I have are snap 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 echoing truth wipe away I don't know it, it's tough it's tough admittedly to find out what needs to go I still want to keep blue suns and brain freeze even though they can be redundant um, Let's see, yeah. I don't know, I'm, I'm, if you have any suggestions, then please put them in the comments. I don't get to play Vintage all that often, obviously. Uh, not that many people around play, and I don't play on Magic Online. So, I, I don't get as much playtesting with this as I would like. We do have one Vintage Dredge player around here, and so uh, I, I don't want to say that I'm preemptively putting in Ravenous Trap for him, I think it's something that I should do anyway, actually, regardless of whether, just because Dredge can be a prominent part of the metagame, and there's very little I can do. We can out-control the blue decks. Uh, you know, if they're bound to be slow and they prey off of slowing the game down, we're the more inevitable deck. Um, but there are some, some tricks that they can do, because we have to go off on their turn, that can make it difficult for us. Um, in any case, thank you for watching, and I guess I will see you later. Take care, YouTube. Bye-bye.